Joining us right now, Jackie Gingrich Cushman. Jackie, I want to thank you so much for taking the time on what must be an incredibly busy day for you. Well, it is a busy day, but I'm glad to call in, and thank you so much for having me on. Well, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Let me play something here from your dad. We'll get your thoughts. Republicans ought to look at Romney's record and decide what... uh, Tell me where I'm technically wrong. I mean... I, I frankly didn't know about the kosher food being cu- cut out by Governor Romney until the New York, uh, I think it was the New York Post reported it yesterday. I mean, every time we peel back the onion, there's something new there. All right. And your dad keeps going after Romney. It seems the Florida voters uh, aren't too fond of this uh, back and forth. He's <laughs> down by at least 16 points. Was this strategy a good one, do you think? Well, a couple of things. The last poll that I saw, was he, they were actually apart by five points. Um, so the last one that I saw, Dad, was actually closing in. And, and again, as we all know, uh, polls are very interesting, but until the voters actually go and vote, you never know what's going to happen. So I think it's going to be tighter than um, than what you're quoting. Secondarily, I think, uh, and obviously, since you're in Houston, and by the way, I love Houston. I've spent a lot of time there. Um, but there's been a lot of money spent in Florida, um, and a lot of money not spent by Gingrich or his supporters. But if you look at combined spending for Romney and his super PAC, they've spent about $16 million in Florida. If you look at what Gingrich and, and combined super PAC have spent here, it's about $4 million. So Romney's outspent us about 4 to 1, roughly. And because of the size of Florida and um, the impact of the media, clearly that's had a toll as well. You know, I've got to ask you, because this morning as I look around on almost every television screen, Jackie, I see your dad everywhere. I mean, he is blasting <laughs> the airwaves, whether it's nationally or in Florida. He really is trying for this last push. Well, well, he is. He's been working very hard. And, what, you know, what you don't see, I think maybe you see it on, on, the, on the shots and you can tell me, but uh, since I'm on the ground here in Florida, what we've had at these, at these events, we've had, to your point, many events every day, and we have thousands and thousands of people that show up um, that are very excited about the Gingrich candidacy, that are very excited about a conservative in the race, um, and we're getting great, and great feedback at the local level. But he, he is really working very hard, as you said. He's out today still um, you know, at polling places and talking to voters. Um, and he's pushing very hard. Jackie Gingrich Cushman joining us this morning. Jackie, hang on. When we come back, I want to ask you about the accusations that your dad's a racist. I want to ask you uh, about the accusations uh, that your dad is uh, just someone that uh, doesn't smile nicely on people that are just trying to make their way through this life. Uh, a lot of accusations has been, have been leveled at him, and I want to get your take on that. Jackie Gingrich Cushman joining us this morning. Jackie, thanks so much uh, for coming on with us. And, and please tell the speaker, uh, your dad, uh, that uh, we wish him uh, the very best uh, as he uh, continues on with this fight. But when he was talking the other day about young people, in particular African-Americans, uh, maybe getting a job as a janitor instead of going on welfare, usual suspects began to squawk, including Sheila Jackson Lee from right here in Houston. He used you as an example. Did you indeed uh, pick up a broom when you were in college to get yourself through? Oh, actually, it was much worse than that. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Now, when I, when I was in high school, actually, I worked my very first real paying job, you know, when you when you, you, you clocked in every week and you told them how long you worked and you made sure you right. had your responsibilities done. My very first paying job was working as a janitor for our church, and I actually cleaned the bathroom. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. we don't do that. Young people don't do that anymore, Jackie. I don't know if you know I, that or not. Well, I, well, I know, and it's kind of, I think it's kind of too bad because, I mean, I don't know if you've ever, uh, you know, happened into a, a dirty bathroom, but it's not very pleasant. And I, I got a great deal of pride out of going in uh, Sundays and Wednesdays and seeing a, a gleaming uh, clean bathroom and knowing that people had a place to go. So let me <laughs> so ask I, you I, this. I learned a lot out of that experience. I'll bet you did. Is your dad, um, do you feel that he looks down on people of color? Is he the racist that people are trying to make him out to be? Is he a, a, a guy that loses his temper? I mean, there's all these accusations being leveled at him. What's he really well, like? A- absolutely not. And not. I mean, my, my dad is, I mean, he, he, what is, his point was, no matter what your background, no matter where you're from, there is a lot of value in learning how to work and, and to actually learn that work has value. Even as a janitor, I, I learned, I mean, I learned learning that your work is good and that people are happy to go to a clean place and that when you, when you actually do your job, you get paid. That has a lot of value as, as, a, as a way to learn how to, to work your way through life. And that is his point. But he, you know, he is not, um, he is not me. He's not unpleasant. He's a happy warrior. Uh, and one of the things people don't know about my dad, he, he actually has a really good sense of humor. He's really, really funny. 
Yeah, he, well, I've, he's made me laugh a couple of times, so there's no question. <laughs> Jackie, listen, i got to wrap it up with you, but I want to thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. Again, uh, our best to your dad, and uh, I hope that we get an opportunity uh, in the future to talk to you again real soon. Great. Thanks so much for having me on.